Hello guys, today we're going to look at Logitech's entry-level gaming mouse. It is from a G-series, but for its price point, it is categorized in budget gaming mouse. It's the Logitech G102 LightSync mouse. We'll take a look at its pictures, if it is worth it or not, or it is the right mouse for you. So without further ado, let's get started. This mouse has 200 up to 8000 dpi responsiveness. It has 6 programmable button, on the ply dpi switch, and an RGB lightning effects. And they offer a 2 year limited warranty for its product. For its physical specification, this mouse is 4.5 inches long. 2.4 inches wide, 1.5 inch thick. So probably it is categorized in a small mouse. And with a non braided cable with a length of 2.1 meters. Out of the box is a Logitech sticker. A thank you card which says keep playing. and an owner's manual written in different languages. And of course, the mouse itself. Here is the top view. Left. Right. Front. bottom and the back under the mouse is the pipe teflon mouse gates with the mercury sensor in the middle the mouse weights around 81 grams so it is very light and it uses a usb for connection but it is not gold plated so here is how the mouse click sounds. G102 uses an Omron switches, which can last up to 10 million clicks. But in other review, this mouse has an issue of double clicking after a few months of usage. I'll post an update if mine will encounter this issue. Here is some gameplay while I'm using G102 in PUBG Lite PC. It feels lighter than my Aegis i303 Pro. It's good for an FPS gamer out there. On the software, it's using a Logitech G Hub. In the first tab, you can toggle between different lighting effects like fix, cycle, breathing, and so on. You can also set the color you want in the effects you selected.
you can also assign three different colors in free sound effect. And lastly, the stack animation on the third tab. Next is with the command keys, action, and macros, which is you can customize and record your own macros. The last one is the sensitivity settings. In these settings, you can set four different level of DVI that you want to use. You can set it from 200 and the maximum is 8000 DPI. Another note on G102 is you can save your custom profile to its onboard memory. This is good for gamer who loves to use macros and different setting in the mouse. The pros in G102 is very responsive, gliding smooth at inner surface, and the lift of distance is really low. And the cons I found in this mouse is very subjective. Because of its small form factor, it will benefit mostly with a small hand like me. Try to look elsewhere if you really had a big hand because you will have a hard time using this. Another downside is it has no DPI indicator. So there we have it guys. For a price point of around 1000 pesos, the Logitech G102 LightSync is a great choice. For those who are looking for a budget gaming mouse that is rich in features, whether you're a hardcore or a casual gamer, the 8000 DPI sensor with on the fly DPI adjustment is enough for all you need. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please leave a like or a comment. And if you are new in this channel, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on my next upload. Thanks for watching and see you guys on my next video.